These are the oldest things of their kind. In 2018, a team of researchers found the world's oldest intact shipwreck. The Black Sea Maritime Archaeology Project found a wreck off the coast of Bulgaria. It's believed to be from a Greek merchant ship, and carbon dating showed it to be over 2,400 years old. The ruins were discovered over a mile underwater in oxygen-free conditions. That lack of oxygen helped preserve the ship. It's one of several ancient vessels the project found over the past several years. We're talking entirely preserved shipwrecks from keel to gunnel. We're talking about still preserved ropes, shipwrecks that literally look as if they had sunk yesterday. We're looking at a snapshot of a moment in time, probably as long as a thousand years ago. We're looking at the last moment in the life of a ship. Drawings found in the caves of Ardalis in southern Spain in 2021 indicate human ancestors may not have been so different from modern day ones. The director of the prehistoric cave of Ardalis said that the red marks are made with iron oxide and applied with fingertips or with an airbrush. Neanderthals created these drawings about 65,000 years ago. And it could be the oldest art in the world, predating the stick and animal figures we associate with cave people. Neanderthals are our closest extinct human relative, according to the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History. In January of 2022, a creature living in a San Francisco museum, named after the biblical character Methuselah, was believed to be the oldest living aquarium fish in the world. Methuselah is a four foot long Australian lungfish weighing around 40 pounds. She was brought to the California Academy of Sciences in 1938 from Australia. At that point, Methuselah was already believed to be around five or six years old. So biologists estimate that she is about 90. Uh, based on the pictures that I've seen and the size of her when she arrived, she wasn't young then either. So she wasn't a baby per se. Um, so I want to say maybe tack on maybe five, six years since the time she was here. Methuselah's caretakers also believe the fish is female, although it's difficult to determine the species' sex without a risky blood draw. Yeah, they're really, really ancient fish. So they literally have lungs as well as gills. So it's thought that they were the in-between between fish and amphibians. The Australian lungfish is now a threatened species and can no longer be exported from Australian waters. So biologists at the academy say it's unlikely they'll get a replacement once Methuselah passes away. Until then, Methuselah will get attentive care and her favorite treats, fresh figs and belly rubs. In 2018, the world's oldest known message in a bottle was discovered. The bottle was dropped in 1886 by a German ship called the Paula. It was part of an experiment by German scientists to study ocean currents. Over 130 years later, it washed ashore on an island off the coast of Western Australia. Message received. This may look like your typical forest, but there's a lot more here than meets the eye. That's because these woods are actually one single giant organism. It's one of the oldest, largest organisms on Earth. It's called Pando, Latin for I spread, and the forest does indeed spread over 100 acres. Pando is also known as the trembling giant and consists of over 40,000 aspen trees that all share a single root system. And each tree is a clone of the other. It's one single genetic individual. Forestry experts say the trembling giant has gotten smaller in the past half century, in part due to a changing habitat caused by climate change. Though Pando is protected, Scientists say its system could collapse in the next couple of decades. The Forest Service is working with other groups to study Pando in the hopes of stemming its decline. Because something this big, old, and beautiful should be enjoyed for generations to come. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andrea Swindle.